In this video, we're going to look at how to use the auto deploy feature of PowerShell Universal Dashboard to actually quickly develop dashboards um, without having to restart the dashboard or refresh your browser page manually. So inside my uh, PowerShell Universal Admin Console, I'm actually going to create a new dashboard. So I'm logged in as admin and um, I'm on the dashboards page and there's a button right here called uh, Create New Dashboard. So I'm going to click that. And now I have a, uh, my, or a dialog here that allows me to enter some information about my dashboard. I'm just going to call this one Auto Deploy, and it's going to be listening on the dashboard URL. We are going to use the um, Universal Dashboard Framework, the latest, so that is version 3. I'm going to turn on Auto Start and Auto Deploy. So the difference between auto start and auto deploy is that auto start will start the dashboard when the server starts. So uh, if you restart your service or um, you know you have a maintenance period or something like that, you don't have to come in and actually uh, start up your dashboards. They'll automatically start when the server starts. Auto deploy, on the other hand, is whenever there's changes made to the dashboard, it's actually going to deploy those changes by restarting the dashboard. Uh, Prior to, I think, version 1.5.13, you would have to do this manually by uh, clicking the restart button. But now we have the ability to turn on this auto deploy feature, which will automatically restart the, um, the dashboard with changes um, that you make. So uh, you can kind of decide whether or not you want this on in production um, or if you want a, kind of a manual process of the deployment of the dashboard. So I'm going to click OK, and what we're going to see here is the dashboard is automatically starting up. And if I click uh, this View button here to actually view my dashboard, you'll see that I have uh, the basic dashboard template um, with some text and a button. Um, and if we go back to Universal uh, Admin Console here and click Info, you'll see here's the uh, actual dashboard's content. So what I want to do is I'm going to click Edit. And I'm going to add some more exclamation points here. And I'm going to click Save. And now you're going to see that this toast here says that it updated and deployed the dashboard. And if we go back to the uh, Home tab here, you'll see that it automatically refreshed the page with the changes that we made for this dashboard. Um, so you can do that directly inside the admin console, but we also support auto deploy in terms of um, Visual Studio Code as well. So if you're using the PowerShell Universal Visual Studio Code extension, uh, you can actually manage your dashboards directly inside Visual Studio Code. What's really nice about this is that I can open dashboard files and um, in my environment here, I actually have the uh, Universal Dashboard module um, installed. So because of that, that also provides me with uh, IntelliSense for all the commands inside Universal Dashboard. So what I want to do here is I'm going to actually um, get rid of those exclamation points and then save this file. And what that actually is doing is I'm using um, kind of remote editing. So it's actually going through the PowerShell Universal REST API and uh, editing this dashboard file. And now if I come back and look at my uh, home page again here, you'll see that Hello World no longer has all those exclamation points. This page was automatically loaded, reloaded and auto deploy um, pretty much automatically restarted our dashboard uh, with that new um, dashboard code. So uh, in this video, we went over how to use auto deploy to rapidly uh, develop dashboards inside PowerShell Universal.